forever. All right, you were just listening to uh, Bug Verb Mark IV. It's pretty much the same stuff as Bug Verb Mark III, which was used on Pointless Journey, except there's two more of these tanks. I have the uh, the previous Accutronics tanks that I bought from the factory in like 06, and they were used all over, all over Pointless Journey. And recently I got these um, Hammond organ uh, necklace type reverb. They're the type from before the Accutronics reverb and they really sound great. They have a much longer uh, delay time and three springs. So I've wired those up and adapted the electronics. Previously this was all uh, just in pieces under my desk. Now I've got it uh, screwed neatly to a couple of pieces of plywood as you can see. But enough of that. Uh, you probably want to hear some more bug verb. I'm, I'm sorry, bug verb. Bug verb. All, all the hiss is coming from the mic preamp in my camera. It's not really designed to be used this way. The actual uh, reverb is uh, very quiet. I don't know how I got it to be there. So you can hear they're set up to uh, come out in uh, in stereo. Uh, stereo. Also, of uh, the other stereo. I was going to have a four-channel output, but I I guess I ran out of jacks when I built this. Anyway, the uh, the Hammond uh, reverb tanks have a very low input impedance, so I'm actually running them in parallel on. Uh, from that driver. There's two independent uh, driver circuits in this. So it would be possible to have two channels of reverb. Alright, we're going to add more echo to the Beatles because I'm Capitol Records. Yeah. Anyway, when I get through with this, you're all gonna wear, be wearing gold plated diapers. Okay, we're gonna put some spring reverb on these drums because they say you're not supposed to do that. here at the Bug Sound Tape Library. We wish you good night and have a pleasant tape library. Remember, Bug Sound, the future is yesterday. Also, you guys need to stop listening to Nirvana because that's not a good band. <laughs>